right, this is part one of Rotor Basics, just to really simple guide on uh, how rotors work in Space Engineers, and uh, just to get you started building things like simple mechanics with rotors. All right, so right here I got two examples. Um, the first one is basically just going to show you how to use a rotor. So I'm going to go into the keypad here and type in rotor and get rotor one. I'm going to go down to these little bars down here. These are all, these basically tell you everything about the rotor and, and what it's going to be doing. So if you can see right here, this is velocity. This is going to be saying, this is like how fast the, tr how fast the uh, rotor is going to be turning and in which direction it's going to be turning. So it's in the middle right now, it's at zero. If you move it up, let's see, let's just move it up a little bit. You see it starts to turn to, it starts to turn uh, like clock clockwise. And that's a positive direction. So this is the current angle right here. This this little thing shows, shows where it's at. Um, if you move it back, it's gonna start going into a counterclockwise uh, movement. So with that you can do, this is, this is the basics, basics of rotors. Just how to get a rotor to move. Um, and once you got that, you can start heading over and messing with this, which is um, my second example. And with, with this rotor too, I'm gonna show you how the lower limit and upper limit work. So basically a lower limit is, like a lower and upper limit is, if you see these little marks on here, these are the degrees. These will like, it's basically where the rotor is on its turning point. So this little line is a good reference point you can use. Basically the lower limit, it means that the rotor, ca the rotor cannot go past a certain limit on, a, on its lower scale. So if it's turning in a negative direction, it will not go past that limit. If it's turning in a positive direction, it will not go past the upper limit, which will be whatever you set it to. So in an example right here, let me go to rotor and rotor two and scroll down right here I have it to zero and to 180 so at zero it's at zero right now I put it at negative 15 uh, negative 15 velocity so it's going into that zero it can't go past it um, let's just really quickly hit reverse on this and you can see that the rotor will start going until it hits that 180 degrees mark so the rotor hit 180 degrees and it stopped. We can mess with that however you want. It's a really, really nice system if you're wanting to use, I don't know, solar arrays, if you wanna make something fold out and, and like not go past a certain point and not make it too complicated with timers and stuff. Um, this is a really good way to do it. So even if we increase this a little bit, you'll see that the rotor will start to go out to the points that we increase it at. Um, if we reverse it real quick, it'll go there we go. Reverse it. It'll go back to zero. Because the zero is our lower limit right here. So that's basically the lower limit. Rotors are pretty simple once you get the hang of them. And right here, we're uh, this is just a quick example of the difference between a normal rotor and an advanced rotor. Advanced rotors are able to... They have a hatch on the top and bottom. So you're able to transfer items through it as you would like a conveyor. So to do that, I also pistons too, that's why I have that there. To do that, I kind of set up a incomplete conveyor system. So right in this uh, cargo container, I have a bottle, so you can go in my inventory and not my inventory. And if you're not familiar, familiar with the conveyor systems, I'll probably do something later on that. Um, but if you scroll down to this one, you can't bring it in your inventory because this this container is not connected to that one they can't <laughs> they can't teleport so what you're gonna need to do is can put a um, conveyor system and this rotor block can help you do that if you want to have multiple conveyor systems to attach it to or whatever so right here I'm going to I already set this up I have rotor one this is the advanced rotor one uh, is gonna start activating and I even use just like I was saying before on the with the um, maximum and minimum limits it won't go like further than this so 
This is two. This is my piston. It's going to go out and set this up to be connected. And those are connectors. They'll let you transfer items between them. And all right, they're ready. So I'm going to connect them now. So now they're green. They're connected. Everything's all green. That means that everything's all right to be transferred. So just one more time checking. You can bring this in in there. And now I can go to this this um, container and scroll down to the same container. And I'm going to be able to drag it in and out because the conveyor systems are connected. So there you go. And this example is really just about torque and how the torque uh, works in this game. And just really quickly to touch on this, go to rotor. Uh, torque example. So right now it's um, I have it steady. If I turn up the velocity, no matter how high I turn it, that block is really heavy. Um, it can't lift that block right there. Yeah, the rotor is not strong enough right now because I turned the torque all the way down. The torque is basically the force it's going to apply in that turning direction. So if I started to turn this up, it'll be able to begin to move it. See here? But gravity is kind of pulling it back down so it can't really get all the way up there. If you're in space, it'd be able to do whatever. Um, this is useful if you're trying to stop it. It'll stop faster if it has a higher torque. Maybe if you turn the thing off, it'll, this is what braking torque is. Braking, it'll stop it when it when you turn the entire block off. But with the torque, if you turn it all the way up, you're gonna have a really strong <laughs> rotor and you get, well, this kind of thing right here. So there's limits. It can't really go um, can't really go past this that I know of so it's kind of like your limitation on this you can't make something <laughs> like a, a little rotor move an entire ship by itself unless unless you're really creative and you figured some way to do that out this is just a really basic basic guide for really new players and with all those things with rotors these just this basic knowledge of rotors I was able to <laughs> I was able to build this and just, just to give you like some kind of an idea of what you can do, it's kind of fun to mess around with these things. So, here you go. <laughs> All right, so, Dancing Noodle Man. Anyways. Uh, if that's, that's basically all there it, uh, all it is to the small it's like the really really basics of rotors is that's pretty much it so <laughs> all right so yeah that's it that's pretty much all there is to basic motor ba basic rotors I'm gonna be making some some more stuff about lessons and tutorials just for really new players to the game just to get a feel for the game and yeah have a good day I'll see you later